So hi, I'm Jim and I'm going to make this video on the IMS. I think that I understand why the IMS has failed, uh, why the bearings fail, and I also think that uh, there's a simple solution that uh, is actually quite inexpensive. So here is the dreaded IMS shaft. As you can see, there's a spot for a bearing here. Here's an IMS bearing. The bearing would normally fit in here. I can't push it in all the way because the clearances are so tight. Uh, when you pull it out, there's the bearing, there's the bearing nut, here's the actual IMS shaft. The shaft is actually sealed completely at this end. There's no way for oil or air to get in at all. On this end, again, the shaft will be sealed by this bearing and as you can see, there's a bearing seal on both sides to hold grease into this bearing. When this bearing is properly installed, it sits just a little bit inside this relief and the bearing is uh, subjected to oil about a half to a third of the way up the bearing when the car is turned off and when it's running obviously there will be splash oil covering the bearing. When the air inside this tube gets hot under running conditions, it's going to be forced out because as everyone knows it's going to expand and when it expands it's only got one way to go and that's out this end. When the air comes out this end and we're probably talking a few cc's not much air at all but when it comes out this end you're going to have a lower pressure in the tube once the tube cools compared to the outside pressure. That's going to force oil back through. The oil's got two choices. It can go through the seal or it can go around it completely and into the tube. This tube was full of oil when I, when I took this bearing out. There's probably about half a cup of oil in here. Sitting on the bench, this bearing didn't leak any oil at all. It appeared dry. Taking it out, I had a rush of oil come out. So I know that oil has gone either around this bearing and into the tube or through this bearing seal, through the back seal, washing out the grease and into this tube. 